So I've been trying to solve a problem in Substance Designer for a while, and I just figured it out. So I'm going to share uh, what I came up with. I'm trying to make this, these large stones with micro cracks, but um, the way I had been doing it before, you can see the result you get is these, these cracks that cross over the border, and it looks really artificial. So the ideal, the goal, would be to have cracks, but at the border, they don't line up, and that looks a lot more organic. All right, so here's what I came up with. Um, and this is not meant to look good, this is just for demonstration purposes, but this is what it was like before, and you can see all these lines crossing over the border. It looks very artificial. Um, and here's what it is with the solution, and now it's all broken up. Um, so it's a very simple solution. Uh, you need to start out with a tile generator or a splatter. Uh, if you're just doing tiles, then it's a lot easier. Um, just make your squares. Uh, but the important thing is that you need to have uh, a version of this that has luminance variation. And so that's located down here, uh, luminance variation contrast. Uh, but for the stones, I just did a bunch of really small dots and then I plugged it into a distance node and what that does, it just pushes those dots out until they meet at the edges. And then I put it through an edge detect. And then just for this, I'm tiling it uh, with a safe transform, uh, just to save time. Uh, I take the uh, luminance rocks and uh, put it through a levels and use the, use the luminance map to drive a directional warp and what that does, as you can see, um, if you crank it down to zero, that's normal. And then they start getting shifted and they're, the distance they're pushed is driven by the value in this map. Um, now I found that it didn't really push it enough uh, at the default setting on the directional warp. So I had to type in 64. Uh, well, it's 32 now, but I had to type in uh, 64 to get it to a, a point where I wanted, so keep that in mind. And then I'm just blending these two together uh, with a multiply, and you can see that's the result I wanted.